Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Here at Davis we build houses and many other fun things for The Sims 4. Today we are going to build the Hollywood Manor, which is the house of the Hollywood sisters, the protagonists of the series Charmed. This house has a very big history, both in the show and in the real life. The problem is that in real life there are actually two houses. The first one is the one for the exterior shots that we all know and love. And the second one is the one built on a set to shoot all the interior parts. For this reason, the house we know and love from Sham is not possible in real life because the exterior is smaller than the interior. Like many others before me, when we build this house, we have to compromise. So the exterior kind of looks like the house in the front and the interior is faithful to the interior shots so the house is more like a square with a big, uh, small things in the left you see from the front that is the kitchen and the washing machine area and that doesn't appear on the actual house one feature that is also missing on the exterior shot house is the solarium so that part will stick out like a sort of tongue on the right so to Make this house, we are using some blueprints that we found on the Shan Wiki. Everybody can go to the Shan Wiki, and there will be blueprints from all the floors from the basement to the attic. So, we are using this to kind of make the house kind of resemble the Chan house. There is one room on the back of the stairs that you see the door, you never go into the room, but we are going to assume it's a bathroom because there is one bathroom for the sisters in the bottom floor. And we never see that on the show, we will see the upstairs button. So I'm moving things around, you will see me moving things, making rooms smaller, bigger, moving everything. That will happen in all the episodes, this video we have at least 3 episodes. So, we'll begin. We have in the dining room one fireplace. It's important to locate the fireplace so we know where to put the fireplace in the ceiling. And we are trying to put it in the lot. As, may, as much balance as possible. Okay, here's the solarium, that's the biggest room in the house. You see that on the right? As you can notice, we have custom doors, custom windows that will be used in this channel for this house because the tinted windows part and the tinted glass on the floor, on the doors, is very important for the house and I couldn't stand having white windows and white glass doors. So, I will give you the list with all the custom boxes at the end of the series. Now I'm, I'm trying to put all these details that is like one roof between the first and the second floor on the balconies that uh, nobody does that when they build the house of the Sims. I, don't, I didn't know why, now I know. And as you can see, when you put a fence there, the, the roof simply doesn't get cut. It just continues through the fence. So you have to make the roof a, mis a bit more difficult using many parts of roofing. As you can see, put together one on top of the other. Maybe glitch an hour, even they won't glitch out, but they might if you don't put them at the exact height. This is something good that the Sims added. They allow you to put many groups in the same place and they would appear to be one continuous piece. If you don't look very closely. Okay, now I'm putting the doors. The idea is that this resembles the outside of the house, so we have to try to put the things where they are, but in the inside you never actually go to those balconies there are two balconies that you can see from the front I will put a third one on top of the solarium when we do the second floor those balconies will go to the girls rooms ok now I'm doing this as you can see there is a one straight hallway from the entrance to the dining room area passing through the main living room where the stairs are and the sofa and the grand, uh, grandfather clock and that doesn't happen also in the house in the house that in the actual house, the door goes straight to a wall, and you can see in some exterior shots, most of them, because they were shot on site. While all the exterior shots, like the famous shots where the demon goes flying right from the solarium to the dining room, to the living room, to the front door, and when he goes out, he shutters the doors, shutters the windows, I meant, that was filmed on the studio. Okay, now I'm doing the second floor. The problem with the second floor is that all the, the girls Rolls has these vast windows that open up and 
with the borders at 45 degrees as you can see here in the front that doesn't happen in the actual house in the front of the house all the windows are or 90 degree angles or no 90 degree angles so we have to put that in on top of the solarium to get to Piper's room that's Piper's room that's the biggest of the house because of Mary she's married to Leo and that doesn't uh, match with the rest of the house either we are trying to place here the attic I made one straight hallway right to the front to try to get that view of the window that from that window you could see the front house that has one circular thing that in the end won't stick and I will remove it. The problem is that in the as you can see in the show and in real life those attics are mainly embedded on the ceiling. The problem in the sims you cannot do that. In the sims the ceilings are not actually rooms. And you need to put a room with full wall heights and on top of that the ceiling so we are trying to find a way to place the attic embedded into the ceiling so it, you don't look at it and don't think very hard to wash it and it looks right but as you can see the wall does have pieces of roof going to the walls as you can see on the TV show now I'm doing the same thing I did in the front making the ceiling out of many parts of roofing so you can see that there is one flat place in the top that happens in the rear house there is one flat place in the top with this black fence surrounding it that black iron fence very nice so I'm trying to do this the problem is that on doing this I'm realizing the actual stairs to the attic don't help me much so I will finally end up moving those stairs going out of the blueprints of the wiki and going to one crazy thing that, to, that doesn't match with what you see on the TV show but remember that attic was also a set so they weren't even connected <laughs> to each other the sets in real life they were all on ground floor <laughs> and now I'm trying to put the roof and put it a second uh, making two stories high to try to make the attic into the wall now I'm moving the stairs I'm changing the front of the house the side of the house and now I'm doing what I did this thing in the sides and you see in the right side and the left side are made so to try to make up for it some of the detail loss that when you try to read the inside blueprint of the house so it can resemble the outside the outside the house has like a T shape or maybe a cross the canon cathedral that you have the front a uh, facade and then you have two sides go to the right and to the left that doesn't happen in the studio so we try to make it now i'm doing the front to do the front we are putting to elevated platforms to simulate the terrain you remember from the tv show the house is on top of a hill like all the other house surrounding it and all they have this little stone wall in the front that separates the lawn from the street that is lower than the front of the lawn so we are using this and as you can see as you could see a minute ago we use roofing to try to simulate the driveway i saw that in another person's bin and i thought it was very clever so i did it again here so now i'm trying to decide what windows to use because the, those windows are tainted uh, stained glass and I couldn't find any for the front doors but I did find this and I said oh, they could work in the solarium because they are yellow <laughs> and the solarium has this uh, beautiful uh, yellow windows but how many other colors? now I'm fixing the fences on the balconies these are fox balconies you cannot uh, actually reach them and they are on the roof this is what I said about the over the attic, if you see a real attic, you could reach to those workers now you can't in the sims and moving everything, moving everything, moving everything. The problem with this complicated roofing and house is that if you move something one square to the front or to the back, you have to move all the pieces of the roofing, so it's a really bit complicated. And here's what I was praying before trying to fix the fences. The problem with that is that they have these posts that are too big and they stick out of the roof so I found these small fences that if you put to them the poles of the white fences disappear so you can do this and they don't 
up here to be sticking out. Now I'm putting the columns to give you some details, putting some white edges to the thing because even though that painting has white edges, sometimes they don't appear. I don't know why, but the seams don't like me, so I put columns instead. I'm putting here more details and uh, we are almost arriving at the end of the video of the building of the front of the house. Now we are doing the windows. As you can see, those windows appear that they are bad placed. One is on right to the top and the other one right to the bottom. That actually happens in the actual house on the exterior shots. You can see there is a window in the middle of the first and second floor. So to simulate that, because you cannot do that in the sense because they glitch out, you put one window to the top and one to the bottom and expect people to see that it's one continuous window which clearly is not but well, you have to do with what you have to do now i'm trying to place the windows to the room that go to the balcony and make it believable and the windows on piper's room and the windows of the kitchen those windows are going to change when i actually put uh, myself to build the interior part of the house because I will try to focus on what we have on the uh, set on the interior part of the house to try to make the most of it. Now I'm adding more detail, um, putting the small ceiling that goes on the side that's from the actual house, not from the studio, and that will be like a small bathroom that we put there so to fill the space. And I'm now I'm trying to put some fences on that balcony and it was impossible until I got the idea to use the half walls with a kind of fence on the top. That doesn't match very much with the house because the house is like everything very old but we'll have to do because that's the only way to put a fence right next to a roofing. So now we're here to the end and I just want to say thank you, I hope you keep watching the series, I hope you subscribe to my channel and on the final video I will of course give you the link to download the house from the Sims Gallery and to the links to the corresponding custom content that I use on this on this, thank you very much for everybody who made the custom content and thank you very much for watching now I'm placing the one of the fireplaces there will be a second one, but I haven't known when I did this where it would be because of the interior parts of the house. Have an awesome day. Thank you so much and blessings.